In the glitzy realm where Hollywood meets luxury, Bing Rames emerges not only as a powerhouse on the silver screen but as a connoisseur of the finer things in life. From the opulent corners of his sprawling mansion to the sleek contours of his enviable car collection, Rames' lifestyle is a symphony of success and sophistication. In this exclusive exploration, we delve into the lavish tapestry that defines the actor's life, unraveling the threads of his net worth and unveiling the treasures that adorn his world. All the details you need are right here in this video. Let's dive in now. In the heart of Harlem, New York, Irving Ramesses Rames, better known as Ving Rames, first saw the light of day on May 12, 1959. Raised in a modest household, his mom, rather, took care of the home front while his dad, Ernest, turned wrenches as an auto mechanic. Ving's journey into the spotlight kicked off at the High School of Performing Arts in Manhattan. Post-graduation in 78, he headed to the State University of New York at Purchase. Nicknamed SUNY Purchase, it was there that his buddy Stanley Tucci dubbed him Ving. Making a move to Juilliard, he joined the drama division, and in 1983, he clinched a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree, laying the foundation for a remarkable career in the world of entertainment. Embarking on a multifaceted journey that transcended the boundaries of stage and screen, Ving Rhames carved an indelible path through the entertainment landscape during the mid-1980s. In 1984, the Broadway spotlight shone upon him in The Boys of Winter, a theatrical triumph that underscored his thespian prowess. Simultaneously, Rhames brought literary character young Gabriel Grimes to life in Go Tell It on the Mountain, showcasing a versatility that would become a hallmark of his career. The subsequent year marked the genesis of a television chapter for Rames, punctuated by a string of appearances that cemented his presence in the living rooms of viewers nationwide. From the sun-soaked streets of Miami Vice, 1985-1987, to the gritty narratives of Crime Story, 1986, the military drama of Tour of Duty, 1987, the investigative world of Spencer, for Hire, 1988, and the equalizing pursuits of The Equalizer, 1989, Rames navigated the television landscape with finesse. His ascent reached new heights when he assumed a pivotal role in the ABC drama Men, 1989, solidifying his standing as a small screen luminary. While the 80s showcased Rames' mastery on television, the silver screen also bore witness to his cinematic prowess. The celluloid tapestry of that era was woven with his performances in films such as Native Son, 1986, Patty Hearst, 1988, and Casualties of War, 1989, each role a brushstroke in the portrait of a burgeoning Hollywood force. As the calendar turned to the 90s, Reigns seamlessly transitioned into the cinematic realm, etching his name across more than 20 films. From the eerie confines of The People Under the Stairs, 1991, to the political comedy of Dave, 1993, the sultry allure of Striptease, 1996, the historical drama of Rosewood, 1997, and the crime caper, Out of Sight, 1998. Rain's filmography read like a cinematic odyssey, each role a testament to his ability to captivate audiences across genres. Yet, it was the watershed year of 1994 that would redefine Rame's trajectory. Teaming up with cinematic heavyweights John Travolta, Samuel L. Jackson, and Uma Thurman in Quentin Tarantino's magnum opus, Pulp Fiction, Rames delivered a performance that resonated far beyond the screen. The film's box office triumph, amassing an impressive $214 million, heralded Rames' arrival in the upper echelons of Hollywood. Simultaneously, 1994 witnessed Reigns joining forces with Tom Cruise in the revitalized Mission Impossible franchise. In the role of Luther Stickle, Reigns became an integral part of the franchise's fabric, appearing in each subsequent installment. The cumulative box office bounty of over $4 billion attested not only to the enduring appeal of the franchise but also to Reigns' role as a linchpin in its success. The turn of the millennium marked a notable chapter, with Reigns earning accolades for his nuanced performances. Garnering a Blockbuster Entertainment Award nomination for Entrapment, 1999, and a Satellite Award nod for Bringing Out the Dead, 1999, Reigns showcased a depth that transcended the boundaries of genre. Venturing beyond the confines of cinema, Reigns left an indelible mark on the television landscape. 
From 1994 to 1996, he inhabited the character of Walter Robbins, the brother-in-law of Dr. Peter Benton, in eight episodes of the acclaimed medical drama, Er. During this period, his portrayal of iconic figures added layers to his repertoire. With an embodiment of Don King in the 1997 HBO film, Don King, Only in America, and a compelling portrayal of Johnny Cochran in the 2000 CBS movie, American Tragedy. The dawn of the new millennium saw Rain's cinematic footprint expand exponentially. With over 50 films to his credit since 2000, he solidified his status as a cinematic force. From the gritty urban drama of Baby Boy, 2001, to the pulse-pounding horror of Dawn of the Dead, 2004, the musical odyssey of Idlewild, 2006, the comedic nuances of I Now Pronounce You Chuck and Larry, 2007, to the futuristic intrigue of Surrogates, 2009, Rain's filmography became a canvas painted with a myriad of roles, each a testament to his versatility. Beyond the realms of traditional acting, Rain's extended his presence into the commercial sphere. A familiar face and voice, he became the embodiment of Arby's, lending his distinctive tone to the iconic slogan, We Have the Meats, since 2014. His role as a narrator for the UFC and the delivery of team introductions during 2017's Super Bowl 51 underscored his ability to seamlessly transition between mediums. Further cementing his status as a consummate storyteller, Rain's foray into TV movies also bore fruit, earning him Black Reel Award nominations for his performances in Holiday Heart, 2000, and Sins of the Father, 2002. These accolades not only reflected his commitment to his craft but also his ability to breathe life into diverse characters across different formats. By the end of 2023, Bing Rains's asset value is about $28 million. And with all that success, it should come as no surprise that we invite you into his lavish lifestyle now. Mansion. Nestled on the illustrious Vicente Avenue, Rains and his wife Deborah embarked on a real estate venture acquiring their first property at 12,935 Vicente Avenue for a sumptuous $4,800,000 back in 2000. This initial residence, a palatial retreat, boasts an impressive 10,000 square feet adorned with seven bedrooms and eight bathrooms, a testament to the grandeur that characterizes Rain's abode. The living spaces within, akin to his own personality, exude a certain simplicity, Yet the meticulous attention to detail and the nostalgic ambiance make the residence a distinctive reflection of the actor's discerning taste. However, the saga of Rain's estate takes a turn tinged with both tragedy and controversy. In 2007, the actor found himself thrust into the media spotlight under less than favorable circumstances. The caretaker of Rain's dogs was discovered lifeless between the guesthouse and one of the main residences. The Los Angeles County Coroner's Office while suggesting the possibility of a heart attack or other medical conditions as the cause of death, noted that the man's body bore the scars of a canine assault. Media accounts described the incident as horrifying, and it was revealed that the unfortunate discovery was made by a relative of Rames the following day. Beyond the veil of this somber episode lies the heart of Rames' home, where he shares his abode with his second wife, Deborah Reed, and their two children, Rainbow and Freedom. Adding to the familial mix is Reed's daughter from a previous marriage, Tiffany. The household is not only filled with human laughter and joy but also resonates with the spirited energy of two bull mastiffs, each weighing a formidable 200 pounds, and two English bulldogs. Neighbors attest to the lively scenes of Rames and his daughter frolicking with the canine companions in the sunlit outdoors. Yet, Rames' residential tale doesn't conclude with a single property, adjacent to the first estate. In 2005, the actor secured a second house for a princely sum of $6,500,000. This second abode boasts an expansive 13,000 square feet, eclipsing its predecessor in both size and opulence. Designed to accommodate Rain's extensive family and furry friends, the second property offers a surplus of bedrooms and bathrooms. The compound itself is a luxurious retreat, featuring a private tennis court, a swimming pool that embodies modern elegance, and a reflective pool that adds a touch of serenity to the lavish surroundings. The entire complex spans a staggering 23,000 square feet, a testament to Rain's penchant for both comfort and extravagance. As one steps into Rain's office, a realm imbued with nostalgia, the details mirror the simplicity that characterizes the actor's personality. 
The luxuriously paneled wood in the living room and the tastefully furnished bedrooms stand as evidence of Rain's thoughtful approach to hospitality. The bathrooms, equipped with indulgent bathtubs and relaxation spaces, add a touch of opulence to the domestic landscape. The exterior of the house, adorned with a verdant tapestry, completes the picture of an exceptionally inviting space. His two houses are really beautiful, aren't they, my audience? Next, let's take a look at the cars he owns now. Cars. In the vast tapestry of automotive marvels, our journey begins with the timeless Ferrari Enzo. Launched in 2002, this limited-edition supercar pays homage to the legendary founder, Enzo Ferrari. The sleek exterior conceals a 6.0-liter V12 engine, unleashing a formidable 660 horsepower, propelling the Enzo from 0 to 100 km per hour in a mere 3 seconds. With a top speed exceeding 220 miles per hour, this automotive masterpiece stands as a symbol of speed and style, etching its name in the annals of automotive history. Surprisingly, this classic can be yours for about $8,000. Transitioning into the realm of refined elegance, we encounter the Buick La Crosse. In the world of luxury sedans, the Buick La Crosse reigns supreme. Epitomizing comfort and opulence, boasting a spacious interior crafted with precision and high-quality materials, the La Crosse promises a driving experience steeped in luxury. Underneath its hood lies a potent V6 engine, seamlessly combining power and efficiency. More than a mere mode of transportation, the La Crosse is a rolling sanctuary that effortlessly melds style with lavish driving pleasure, setting new standards for modern luxury sedans. For those captivated by its allure, be prepared to invest around $40,000. For enthusiasts who crave power, the Mercedes-AMG G63 takes center stage. With its meticulously crafted 4.0-liter Biturbo V8 engine, the G63 springs to life, generating an astonishing 577 horsepower. This automotive behemoth seamlessly blends refinement with rugged capability, featuring three locking differentials for unparalleled off-road prowess. Whether navigating city streets or conquering pristine terrain, the G63 remains an emblem of automotive dominance, captivating onlookers with its iconic boxy shape and advanced technological features. To make this powerhouse yours, be prepared to invest around $180,000. Our exploration concludes with the quintessential off-road companion, the Jeep Wrangler. For those lured by the call of the wild, the Jeep Wrangler stands tall as the ultimate off-road companion. Unveiled numerous times since its inception, the Wrangler remains an enduring symbol of adventurous exploration. Equipped with potent all-wheel drive, removable doors, and a fold-down windshield, the Wrangler beckons adventure with open arms. Engine options cater to varied terrains while upholding the Wrangler's iconic and timeless design. Whether navigating rocky trails or cruising city streets, the Jeep Wrangler stands as a steadfast choice for those with an insatiable spirit of exploration. To embark on off-road adventures, allocate around $45,000 for this rugged companion. Personal Life Ving embarked on the journey of matrimony with Valerie Scott on the patriotic occasion of July 4, 1994. However, the echoes of wedding bells were replaced by the somber tones of separation in 1999. Undeterred by the nuances of love's evolution, Rain's heart found solace anew on Christmas Day in 2000, as he exchanged vows with Deborah Reed. This union not only brought about marital bliss but also heralded the arrival of two precious additions to the family, daughter Rainbow in 2000 and son Freedom in 2002. The familial tableau expanded further as Tiffany, Deborah Reed's daughter from a previous relationship, was embraced as a beloved stepdaughter, embodying the interconnectedness of blended families. Yet, the tapestry of personal relationships is not always woven with seamless threads. Reports surfaced, indicating that Ving and Deborah chose separate paths in 2011. Such private intricacies, often subjected to the public gaze, underscore the challenges that accompany the spotlight's glare. Amidst the complexities of love and family, the narrative of Ving's life took a poignant turn in 1993. A chapter of profound significance unfolded during the filming of The Saint of Fort Washington, where he was reunited with his estranged older brother, Junior, a homeless army veteran. The serendipity of this reunion unfolded as co-star Matt Dillon was approached by Junior at a homeless shelter. This unscripted encounter became a pivotal moment, culminating in Ving seeing his brother for the first time in years. 
In a 1996 interview with People magazine, Reigns shared the transformative experience, stating, I got him out of the shelter that day. I put him up in my apartment and helped him get a job. This act of familial compassion showcased Ving's commitment to family bonds beyond the glitz of Hollywood. Thank you for watching the entire video. Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this, and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.